In the wild, wild west, there was good guys. And there was bad guys. And then there was catastrophe. Catastrophe Jones, the rootin'est, tootin'est, highfalutin'est, sharp shootin'est cowboy, whatever rode the wild range. All summer long, he and his friends will be bringing their special brand of Bible lessons right here to the Bible barn at Camp Venture. Let's head on over and learn about the wonders of God's creation. Welcome back to the Bible Barn. Let's get right to business and say our campers code. Everyone stand to your feet. Raise your right hand. Let's all say it together today. I will love God with all my heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will be a light wherever I go. All right, y'all can have a seat. Good job, kids. Well, you hear that? That sounds like my little oh, brother, Wyoming. Oh, there oh, he got is. Behind hey, Wyoming. Oh, got, We're oh, over oh, here. Yeah, come on. Just back there. Oh, what, man, what's going you got on? Some, what do you got? Oh, you got to hide me. Hide you from what? You remember that blueberry pie that Grandmammy had sitting on the windowsill? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that blueberry pie. Yeah, mm -hmm. she put it up there with a big sign that says, do not touch. Oh, you saw that sign too? Yeah, it was kind of hard to miss a sign that big. Oh, that's what Grandmammy said. So did you eat it? No, not me. I didn't eat no pie. No, no then no, what's no. all that blueberry stuff around your mouth? Oh, this is this a rash. This uh, is a rash, yeah. A blueberry rash. Oh, yeah, it's body contagious. You don't know what you're Now, come on, get this. Wyoming. Be honest and tell the truth. I may have had a slice. Yeah, I thought so. Or, or three or, or five, maybe. Mm -hmm. But uh, Oh, but I wasn't the only one there. And there was Fish Head oh, and, and Gussie and Uncle Polecat. And furthermore, why is you leaving a pie on the windowsill if you want people to eat it? And now, furthermore, I like to say that there are... little brother. Uh, it sounds like you got a whole bunch of excuses. Oh, I got plenty more excuses. But, uh, but why is I getting me blamed for eating the pie? Because you're the one what ate the pie. Yes, that is, that is true. I didn't eat the pie, but, uh, but it wasn't my fault, though. It wasn't your fault. Well, look, Grandmammy put a sign there that said, do not touch. You read that sign and chose to disobey it. Yeah, well, no, that, that is true. I didn't yeah. do that. Yeah, well, don't feel too bad, little brother. I'm sure the Bible has a story that will help us with your predicament. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah you know what? Let's shoot it down, kids. Get out your slingshots, Whoop. and we'll all fire together. Ready? Aim, fire! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. Well, I like that sound that made. Oh, right now, it says, uh, oh, it says Adam and Eve. What? Adam and Eve. Now, wait a second. We already learned about Adam and Eve already. We took the rib out. That's true. That's true. We did learn that. But I bet you Adam and Eve have another story they could tell us. Ooh, Let's get out right. the Bible and find out. <laughs> whoa, damn chicken. Damn, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, man. Woohoo. Hey, and that chicken had blueberry on his beak. Yeah. Oh, all right, kids. Now, let's pretend that this here is the Garden of Eden. Now, God put Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, and he told them that they could eat from any tree in that garden except for one. Who knows the name of that one tree? Yeah. Evil is in there. Yeah, that's close. Yeah. Uh, it's the tree of good and evil, but what else? Yeah. Very good, Isabel. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Oh, that reminds me. I remember this story now. Yeah. Well, now, that's when that snake came along, and he tried to trick Eve into eating that fruit. Come on, go get that fruit. True, you want but, that fruit. but look what the Bible says. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Oh, so they just went and disobeyed God? Ooh, people just do what they want to do. Oh, that's right. They chose to disobey God. And that is how sin first came into the world. Now, kids, sin is when you do wrong in God's eyes. Oh, well, what did God do? Well, he came back to talk to them, but they ran away and hid. Oh, now that's just silly. You know you can't hide from God. Of course not. And God found Adam and said, have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? Oh, man, that's a scary voice. What did Adam say? He blamed it all on Eve. What? <laughs> yep, I know, right? And then he turned around and blamed God for giving her to him. Oh, now that's just crazy. What did God say? He said, 
what is this you have done? And the woman said, the serpent deceived me, and I ate. Oh, so they just blamed all that on the snake? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that's a shame. People don't take responsibility when they have done wrong. Yeah, like when you eat someone else's blueberry pie. Right, like when you eat some... Oh, I, I see what mm -hmm. you did there. I, I didn't yeah. think about it like that. Yeah, well, you know what? God holds all of us responsible for the things we do. That's true. Well, what, did God punish them? Oh, sure. Well, God had to punish them. I mean, you see, God is perfect, but he's also fair. And he couldn't allow sin in the Garden of Eden on account of it was a special place set aside for man to walk with God. Now, God made all the rules very clear to Adam and Eve. And they still chose to disobey. Oh, man, well, did God send them away? Yep, God had to send them away. But God loves us so much, even when we disobey. And that's why he wanted to protect them. So before he sent them away, he made them clothes out of animal skins. Oh, God really did love them. He loved them so much, he made protection from them from the wind and the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Grandmammy used to make me clothes. <laughs> Do you think that she will forgive me? Oh, now, Wyoming, Grandmammy loves you. I think she'll forgive you. She ought her. She ought <gasps> oh, That reminds me. Oh, oh, that reminds me of this week's Camp Critter. The critter is the order. Well, that makes a lot of sense, kids. That makes perfect sense. On account of the God gave the otter a special thick coat to protect him from the temperatures in the water. That's right. Just like when God gave Adam and Eve protection from the elements, too. <laughs> yeah, you know what I think? We otter put the otter in our camp critter song. Woo, that sounds yeah. like a plan. Now, come on, y'all. Stand up on your feet. Come on. Miss Kelly, will you lead us? Of course, but first, I need you to pick somebody to raise our flag. Oh, oh my. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, right here, you. This one right here. There you go, bud. All right. Ooh, there you go. You. Good job, Evan. And we have to mount our horses. Yeah, get on your so horses, everybody kids. Mount your horse. Yeah. Let's take it away. Let's go talk oh, okay, to her. Nice. All right, you guys can have a seat for 